Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melita, and I had already done this intro, and the audio sucked because I was trying to uh, use this new wireless microphone that we still have not quite figured out yet. So I'm here in my family farm. This is where my grandparents, um, this is my grandparents' family uh, land, and I grew up here just down the street, and so I spent a lot of time here. And we are here because we're trying to convert my grandfather's old garage into a chicken coop for my aunt Yoli, my tia Yoli, my dad's sister, my dad's only sister. Anyway, so I'm here with my cousin Tanya. She's standing right here looking at me. And uh, so we're going to get going. It's early in the morning. We're going to get going because it gets super hot and we don't want to melt out here. So uh, let me turn you around so you can see what we've been up to. If I can see, here's the inside of the garage. We have to clean this out. I think we're gonna take some plant panels out of here. Some of this stuff is good that we need to get rid of. Yeah, that's uh, Richard's thing. Okay, that's a good start. Okay, so the plan is to take all of these aluminum panels off and this is where we're gonna put the nesting boxes, hopefully. Or, you know, just let, you know, some breeze in because it's too hot in here. There's no windows. And maybe put the nest, either the nesting boxes here or on the opposite wall. So we got to clear all this out. All of that out. Okay, you guys, this is where we are so far. We took off the tents on the side and the front. And um, I say we, but you, it was mostly my dad. And then um, me and dad covered it with uh, chicken wire and we just need you know, like this piece up here and then we need to fix this piece up there and then we have one let me go around this way we have one let's see if you can see i don't know if you can see one piece of tin that's missing from the roof um me and tanya on friday and my cousin tanya on friday Today is Monday. We went and got some hay and the guy that we got it from was super nice and gave it to us for free. So we just threw it in here. Hopefully you can hear me. It's super windy. We just threw it in here. So I'm going to get it out of the truck and I'm going to try and put it into the coop.
Good morning, everybody. It's another day. So today I stopped at the hardware store and I picked up these brackets here and I'm going to put them along this wall right here and I'm going to put a shelf on there and that's where the nesting boxes are going to go. So that's my plan for today and hopefully get these feeders done. It's 9.20 in the morning, guys, and it is hot already. Okay, so, uh, moving on from the shelf. Put the shelf up. Let me see if I can pick this up. Okay, so I have this 4-inch PVC pipe that we found on the property. So we didn't have to buy it, thank goodness, because they are expensive. Okay, so these, the little elbows, um, are going to go in here just like this. You see? Okay, it's a little elbow. And then this one, another little elbow, but this one doesn't have this piece. This is going to go like this to make like a J. And then this is going to be hanging up like this. Let me see if I can lift it like this. And the chicken feed is going to go in this other end. Put it in here and then put it against the, let me see put it against here like that and then we're gonna wire tie it to this pole that way mo we need it mostly so we don't have to feed the chickens every single day they are they're already gonna have food here so in case we need to go away for the weekend or something like that they'll have plenty of food to last them like at least you know five days so that's what we're gonna do um, let me tell you how much this cost the little elbow the first one those were $12 and we bought four so it was almost fifty dollars just worth of elbows just for four two feeders for here and two feeders for my other chicken coop and then the little the other little elbow i think those were ten so another forty so ninety dollars we spent just in pipe just in pvc and that's not including the four inch big huge pipe and those are sixty dollars each so can you imagine sixty times four well, we could have we cut them in half. So 60 times two, that's still 120 bucks, but we saved that. We saved $120, so we didn't have to buy that. So I don't think I'm gonna use the PVC glue to put them together. I'm gonna see if they can just stay together on their own and not have the feed fall all over the ground. So we'll see. That's our next step, putting them up. Okay, you guys, I need more. I need, you know, these wire ties are not long enough. So I'm going to make, connect them together and make longer wire ties. So you just put one in the other and there you go. And then you just keep connecting wire ties and wire ties until you get a really long, well, long enough to go around your pipe. Like this one, just like this. Okay, now let's see if we can do it.
Okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, chicken, the garage transformation into a chicken coop. We really had a lot of fun doing it, even though it was super hot. Anyway, let me turn you around so, you, so I can show you one more thing before we go. Look at the size of these grapes, guys. Our grapes are doing awesome this year. Look at this. There's another one there. And there's another one up there. And this is the first year that we've actually had grapes grow on our grapevines. The years before, we've had nothing. And I think we've had these grapevines for about five years. So anyway, I read that you had to cut the leaves from around the grapes and uh, expose the grapes to sun so they can get plumper and bigger. Okay guys, that's it. We'll see you next week with another video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, uh, like uh, subscribe and share. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, you guys take care of each other and stay safe. And we'll see you next week. Bye guys.